Hello and welcome to this Electrical Principles training video. A few weeks ago we had the absolute privilege of welcoming John Ward here to the college and during that time we talked about a lot of things and we shot a lot of material. In a previous video we discussed some old testing instruments and we really uh, found those quite interesting and this is the second part of that video where we continue to discuss some more of those test instruments with myself and John Ward. I hope you enjoy. Now this is something uh, it's quite interesting. So this this one here is dated. Uh, I think this is probably the last time that it was checked for its uh, calibration. So 87. The first of December 1987. Now we don't want to get into ages, but um, you know this this isn't far off. You know my my learners don't know how old I am because I never tell them. But uh, this is this is quite a you know, fairly it's old bit air, of kit that we've got here. Yeah, yeah, yeah we, we're getting warm. Yeah. So you'll notice on here uh, the old stylized Avo. Yeah. AVO standing for, John? Amps, volts and ohms. Very nice, and look at that. And that's exactly what it measures. So. <laughs> what a fantastic bit of kit. Again, look at this now. So we've got, uh, again, it does what it says on the tin. We've got AC and DC settings. And again, quite an impressive range on here. It'll measure up to, uh, sort of what we've got here? Yeah, 1,000 volts. 1,000 volts, yeah. Uh, and yet it'll read down as low as 10 milliamps. So it's quite a, a reasonably sensitive yeah, instrument. Yeah, good range on those. Yeah. And of course, all manual ranging, so there's no uh, just plug it in and hope it gets the right one for you. Yes. Set it to the wrong range, it will blow up. Yeah. Or blow the fuse at least. Yeah, absolutely. And the same goes as well if you've left it set to ohms by accident and you uh, then try and measure the voltage. Yeah, that's going to be a bit <laughs> of a fatal mistake there. So. Absolutely fried your bit of kit. Yeah, and uh, again, you know, not, not a cheap bit of kit in those days to replace. It's interesting as well when you look at the new uh, mega multimeters that they've brought in, they're actually uh, numbered AVO and then they're 8 three something, eight, you know, six, five, yeah. whatever. Um, so they've actually taken the old AVO designation from these meters and applied them to their new new range of multimeters, which is a, a, quite a pleasing continuation. Yeah, it continues on with a theme, yeah. doesn't it? Yeah. Absolutely, yeah, it's quite nice. So I don't know who actually manufactured this. Was AVO their own company? Was it a separate company? It was company? a company originally was... on its own. Yeah. Let's say now it's been uh, incorporated into yeah. Uh, yeah. Mega. Yeah, yeah. so it's nice seeing that, uh, that continuity, if you'll pardon the pun. Yes. They're all laughing off camera, they're not mic'd up, just, just saying, yeah, okay. So, now this next one, John, okay, this one might be a little bit of a test for you, okay, so we'll have a little look at this, okay. Uh, there's two here that I'm not 100% convinced that we'll, uh, we'll get, so let's have a look at this one. So what do you reckon that is? Yeah. First glance. Very good question. Oh! So, yeah. <laughs> It took me a minute or two to figure it out, I must say. It's actually um, a, uh, what would you call that, a, a revometer? Uh, a rotational it? speed. Yeah. Yes, yes, so it's telling you the, uh, the revolutions that that's doing. It's got various little, um, various little kind of things, so you could pop that on, pop it on the end of a rotating motor. Uh, and measure what uh, oh, yeah, revolutions it's doing. Motor, yeah. yeah, exactly. Yeah, so you can change the range on it as well. So it'll measure up to five thousand, or even up to uh, fifty thousand. So yeah, again, a, a beautiful little bit of kit there. And again, I think if you give it a spin and then press the lock button, it will actually hold it. it so you could get it into a, a tightish space, measure, get it up to speed, press the lock button, and then pull it out to measure it again. Yeah. So. I, I quite like that bit of kit. I think that's yeah. quite a, a nice, nice little thing to have in there again. Lovely bit of kit. <laughs> right, jolly good. Uh, so I think uh, maybe just one more. I think we've got, yeah, that's quite a nice one. Let's have a look at that. Let's have a look at that. So again, we can see this one is for testing earth and double insulated equipment. So again, uh, kind of an ancient pack tester. Yeah, that's yeah, nice here. Is what I would say, yeah. Yeah, uh, again, I'm not entirely sure how this should be set up, but we've got these lovely instructions here. You can see we're entering the modern age now. This looks like it's been typeset on a computer. Yeah, they've actually uh, printed it and put yep. it in there rather than having it typed. Absolutely, yeah. And again, we've got the uh, the nice kind of like uh, flashover probes, I guess, for testing the yeah, integrity of the insulation. Yeah, uh, hold one end and don't ever touch the other end, because no. if you do, you're going to expect trouble. Yes, <laughs> absolutely, yeah. So uh, again, what a... What a lovely bit of kit to have. So we might we might have to actually try and see if these still function at all on uh, in, in a safe environment on some bits of kit because these are these are rather rather lovely lovely ancient things. So uh, yeah, fantastic. So jolly good. Uh, I think that's all the equipment that we wanted to have a look at today. 
So thank you very much for yep. sharing that with me, John. That's yep, much no appreciated. Problem. And we thank you very much for watching.